welcome to another segment of Candy Reads. I'm reviewing two books for you today. These are Linwood Barclay's two first books. I found Linwood Barclay because I was zipping through a bookstore one day. I saw a book on sale for like five bucks and it was Linwood Barclay, A Tap on the Window. So I bought it. I loved it. I was like, oh cool, it's like a murder mystery. There's like a detective. I'm into it. And then I watched a Lindsay Does Nails video where she was reviewing one of his books and she mentioned he was Canadian. So I hurriedly jumped online, checked it out. Sure enough, he used to write for the Toronto Star and now he's a novelist. And I was, you know, I, I'm always thrilled when I can support Canadian literature. Um, in fact, on my uh, tryout time at Q, I got to reveal the panelists for Canada Reads, the five books that are kind of going to battle it out for a top book in Canada. So I, like I usually do when I discover a new author, went back because I like to start at the beginning. And his first two books, his fir very first book was this one, Bad Move, and it introduced us to this awesome guy named Zach Walker. And Zach Walker is a quirky guy who makes all the wrong decisions. He's married. He used to be um, a newspaper reporter. He's turned into a sci-fi fiction writer. His wife is an editor for the paper he used to work at and he has a teenage son and a teenage daughter. The first book, Bad Move, is based on them leaving the urban center and moving out to the suburbs to this brand new development and Denise and I have on two different occasions moved to a new development once in the suburbs once downtown and so it's all the things that you deal with when you're moving into one of those new pop-up developments but combined with that was it was a bad move because there were some bad guys out there in that suburb and of course he stumbles upon a body and it's a typical murder mystery in that way, but where the fun is, is he is a worry wart and he has the best intentions, but he makes the wrong decisions over and over and over again. And the frustration of his family, um, his wife and his kids with his wrong decisions, and it causes them not to realize when shit's really going wrong. And he's got a crazy group of neighbors out there. So I really enjoyed this, which caused me to quickly order this one. This one's Bad Move. This one's Bad Guys. Uh, and in this one, because of what happened in the first book, he's moved his family back into the city center. They're living on the same street they used to. Anybody who's familiar with Halifax, I picture it as the north end of Halifax. Um, I picture him and his wife as sort of aging hipsters maybe except he's not because he's just so <laughs> out of touch and in this one his daughter is now at university but she's still living at home and his son has become a high school student and the sort of the whole premise of the whole story revolves around he's now reporting at the newspaper to earn extra money now that they live downtown and he has purchased he needs to purchase a second car or he believes he needs to purchase a second car and in doing so gets wrapped up in some bad guys. At the same time that he's looking for a car, he's he's going out on stakeouts with this private detective because he's writing a story about it. And the two stories, you know, those two story arcs intertwine and I cannot get enough of Zach Walker. He's hilarious because he's so, like he's so good intentioned. You so understand the things he does, but he's so stupid. He just keeps me making the wrong decisions. So it's really fun because while it's also a, it's a murder mystery, there's just a lot to chuckle at. It's one of the, these both of these books, it's one of the few times where I'm reading a book and I from time to time just go, oh jeez buddy, holy cow. So he's like, what, what? I'm like, oh this guy's just doing something ridiculous again. So I highly recommend these. Uh, I'm so proud that he's Canadian. Bad Move and Bad Guys, both by Linwood Barkley. I think there's one or two more books in this Zack Walker series, so I'll look for those, and as soon as I get them read, I'll have them out to you. Make sure you follow me on Goodreads. I've put up my 2015 challenge, and I'm now getting to work on reading the five books that are the finalists for the Canada Reads. So the first one that I'm reading is when, I think it's called When Everything Seems Like the Movies. 
So um, I'll be putting my reviews of those up on Goodreads as well as recording reviews for you. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I've been away. I've got a bunch of books that I've read that I need to catch up on for you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the book reads and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.